going on guys welcome into minnesota vikings now by chat sports my name is patrick seatman we got a bombshell report this morning coming in from diana russini as she says the vikings are expected to hear from kirk cousins tonight on his decision to explore free agency sources tell me and alec lewis who covers the athletic and she does make this note his contract does not void until wednesday so the team will have until then to extend him before his dead cap hit, which is $28.5 million, officially hits the books for 2024. And guys, I'm making a video in a bathroom right now because we are going to get reports around Kirk Cousins, the Minnesota Vikings, or even Justin Jefferson in extension at any time. And I will have a video for you guys ASAP. I want to be your go-to guy covering the Vikings free agency. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, lock us in. Even if I'm at an undisclosed location in a bathroom filming a video i got you guys so make sure you guys do hit that subscribe button lock us in really would help me out hey and let's hit 23k here on the channel appreciate you guys you know always showing love but let's dive into this report here so if you guys know my uh kind of take on the kirk cousins free agency is i think quasi in the vikings front office is going to sit kirk and his agent down tonight and they're going to have a deal in the realm of two for 60, up to even I think two for 80, maybe fully guaranteed. And I think they're gonna offer him that deal and then say, that's as much as we can go. And if you wanna go elsewhere, test your options somewhere else, you go do so. And I think that's the decision, or I think that's the move the Vikings need to make. Put the ball in courts or in Kirk's court and give him a good contract, give him the ability to come back to Minnesota, try to win games next season. And you could also make the argument to Kirk, hey, if you sign a two for 60, 30 a year, fully guaranteed, you only have him on the books for 30 million, you could go elsewhere and maybe get him, you know, Robert Hunt, an elite offensive guard. Maybe go get another corner on defense. Go get another linebacker. Go get another edge rusher. You could play this a plethora of different ways. And, you know, if I'm thinking about this from Kirk Cousins' perspective, I always think back to the quarterback documentary. When he has that mantle and he says, I'm going to get a Super Bowl trophy in that mantle right now. Kirk, your best place to do that, frankly, is Minnesota. And it's not in Atlanta because we also got this report from Jordan Schultz that the Atlanta Falcons are considered a major contender to lure Kirk Cousins out of Minnesota once free agency officially opens at Monday. The Vikings are still trying to retain Cousins, who is the top quarterback on Atlanta's wish list. So I'm sure Kirk and his agent... They're going to come back to Minnesota and say, hey, we got Atlanta offering us two for 100. You guys need to meet us there. And I don't think the Vikings are going to be willing to do so. This wasn't the front office. This wasn't the coaching staff that brought Kirk to Minnesota. They want their own guy. They have been crystal clear about that, that they want to have their own quarterback, that they can groom into a true franchise guy. I don't think they believe Kirk is truly that option. I think they still think that Kirk could be a great quarterback, go win you a couple playoff games if you have the right roster around him, and also be a great bridge quarterback for a younger you know, QB in this league or a rookie that you would draft. But you know, I think it's either Kirk. I think he's got two options right now. I think it's Atlanta and Minnesota. And my argument to Kirk, if for staying in Minnesota and potentially taking a discount would be, Kirk, you're not gonna have a better chance and win anywhere else. You are familiar with Kevin O'Connell for the first time in Kirk Cousins' career. I feel like he is truly kind of comfortable with an offensive coordinator because we know, I mean, before this past season, Kirk has had different offensive coordinators almost every year of his career. This was the first time he has had back-to-back -back same offensive coordinators in his time in Minnesota. He's familiar with Justin Jefferson. That relationship they have, I think it's gone underrated in terms of like the top quarterback, wide receiver duos in the league. You know, we think of like the Mahomes and whatever his, you know, wide receiver, the Burrow and Jamar Chases. I don't think we really give enough appreciation to that connection that number 18 and number eight have. And we also know this, Kirk wants to keep his family in Minnesota. I know the report Mike Florio moved, or put out there that Kirk was looking at a house down there in Atlanta, and we obviously know Kirk's wife and her family are from the ATL area. Kirk actually spent some of his off seasons there at his parents' in-laws' house. So I think it's two choices. I think it's Minnesota, and I think it's Atlanta are the final two options for Kirk Cousins. But I just, I just really still believe this. I'm still in this camp. We are going to get that notification, whether that's tonight or tomorrow morning before free agency starts, 
that the Vikings are bringing back Kirk Cousins on a two-year, I'm not sure what the number, but we're going to look at it and say, oh, Kirk ended up taking a discount uh, in terms of the market value, even if it's $35 million a year. Let's just say he signs a two for 70, 35 fully guaranteed. That's necessarily Kirk taking a discount because Atlanta is going to at least offer him, I believe, $40 million a year. I think Atlanta believes they have a win-now roster with a ton of weapons and Bijan, a wide receiver, and a uh, solid, or uh, Kyle Pitts, their tight end, and obviously Drake London being that receiver. I think they think if we bring Kirk in, a guy that can get the ball out on time and on target, we can really take that next level. So, or take the game to the next level, or our team to the next level. Excuse me, but I still believe. I think Kirk wants to be here in Minnesota. I, I just, I will stay in this camp until I see it does not happen. I think this is just smoke from Kirk's agent. I don't think Kirk is really, I, I think he's considering Atlanta. I don't think it's like he's really, really considering picking up his family and moving to the ATL area. This man's 36, coming off a torn Achilles. You want to go start fresh for maybe a two-year run with the Atlanta Falcons where, you know, you can make the argument, oh, Kirk would be the best quarterback in the division. No doubt about that. I totally agree in the NFC South, but if you just look at this Vikings team dating back to last season, that feeling I had when the Vikings were in Green Bay, we were up 17-3. to Vikings get a turnover to start the second half. First play, it's Kirk up the seam to Jordan Addison. We go up 24-3 on the road against a Green Bay Packers team that made the divisional round and they obviously lost to the 49ers, who the Vikings actually beat. Uh, the prior week to beating Green Bay. But that feeling I had where I was like, this is a really good football team around Kirk Cousins. Kirk's playing his best ball. I just think a deal is going to get done. And guys, if we keep it simple like this, let's think about this. Vikings want Kirk Cousins back. Kirk Cousins wants to be back in Minnesota. They're going to find a middle ground. I really do believe that. I think it's going to happen tonight. I think we're going to get that notification. And I'm going to try to go live here on the channel. So another reason, make sure you guys are subscribed. Stay tuned. Any report we get around Kirk, Vikings free agency, any signings, I will be your go-to guy, breaking it all down here, giving you guys my thoughts. But let me know down in the comments section. Will Kirk Cousins be QB1 for Minnesota next season? We'll obviously have to wait and see if that is true. But give me a Y for yes or an N for no down below in the comment section. I'll make that the pinned comment. Really want to get you guys involved here on today's show. Thank you guys so much for watching, though. Made this in a bathroom. So excuse me if there's a little bit of an, bit of an echo. But I just wanted to share this report for you guys. Any more reports we get, I got you. Hit that subscribe button. And it's going to be a crazy free agency period for Minnesota. quasi has got a ton of moves he's going to have to make. So I appreciate you, know, you guys watching. But make sure you guys are subscribed. We'll see you guys next time. And as always, we say every video here on the channel, Skull Vikes, baby.